Hi everyone, it's Jenny from jccards.com and I'm stopping by as part of a video hop showcasing the newest stamp of approval release from Catherine Pooler Designs, Home for the Holidays. I'm going to show you how to make two cards today which both use this set from the new stamp of approval release, Festive Trimmings. I'm only going to be using this main stamp today, this set does also come with coordinating dies. And I'm going to be stamping the image on cold press watercolour paper with water. I've spritzed the stamp with two or three sprays from my distress sprayer with just nothing but clear water. And I've stamped it down onto a panel of cold press watercolour paper, held it there for a few seconds and then lifted off. I'm now using watercolour powders by Paper Artsy and Nouveau and I'm sprinkling it gently and carefully over the stamped water stamped image and letting the colour wick out. I let this dry naturally, I didn't use a heat tool to push the water around and it retains the shape of the stamp. It's obviously quite abstract and that was the look I was going for, something that was a bit more artsy. I'll show you in a few minutes how you can get more of a crisp image with a slightly different technique. And when it's dry you can just use a brush, I'm using a blusher brush here, uh, to brush away the dried bits of powder that weren't sprinkled over any parts of the water that I'd stamped down. I'm then going to use Versamark ink which is a clear sticky ink used for embossing and I'm going to re-stamp the tree image directly over the painted part. I have used a powder tool to make sure that the embossing powder that I'm going to be using doesn't stick where I don't want it and I did leave my stamp in my stamp positioning tool and I did not uh, move it so that I could um, easily replace it when I was doing this uh, second stamping. I'm then going to use Wow Embossing Glitter in Singing in the Rain. This is quite a subtle embossing powder, it's clear with um, sparkly bits of glitter and when you tilt it in the light you'll see that it picks up all of the pattern from the stamp itself. You could if you wanted something that was more obvious when looking at the card you could use a solid metallic embossing powder or a coloured embossing powder but I just wanted a subtle sparkle uh, that you can see when you tilt in the light as I'm showing you here. For my second card I'm using the exact same stamp and I'm also using a panel of cold pressed watercolour paper again but this time instead of stamping with water I'm just going to be stamping with Versamark ink. You don't need to worry about treating the cardstock with a powder tool because we're not going to be using embossing powder here. So I've stamped the image twice using my stamp positioning tool uh, with Versamark ink just to make sure I get a crisp impression. And then I'm taking the same infusions, uh, powdered watercolour, uh, and I think I use two colours here, yep, Rocky Road and Raspberry, and I'm gently tapping again over the top the, the powder. And what will happen is the powder will adhere where there is sticky embossing ink, and just uh, gently tapping the powder around to roll it towards where the Versamark ink is will help get more of a crisp impression. What you're looking to do is only have the powder sticking where the Versamark is um, but you don't want to have any powder around the edges as far as you can. The best thing to do is tap it off. Any sort of brushing or wiping with your finger will just smear the, smear the powder. Um, there are obviously a few speckles around the outside edge you'll see there but you know it adds a little bit to the artsiness and just give it a few spritzes, gentle spritzes from like a foot, foot and a half above with water and it will wick out along the lines of where the Versamark ink was stamped and then you can dry it with your heat tool and you get a great watercolored festive trimmings Christmas tree. I'm going to keep each card pretty clean and simple so I'm using sentiments from the new holiday mix set from the Home for the Holiday stamp for approval collection and for this card I'm just stamping the season's greetings sentiment in black ink directly over the top of the Christmas tree itself. I'll then finish it off with a few sparkly gems and uh, adhere it to a card base. I think the holiday mix set is one of my favourites in this collection. It's really versatile, it's got some great sentiments in it and again it's got the mix and match sentiments that we know and love from the stamp approval collections. Here's a look at the card I created earlier, just finished. I put some black splatters on it, some of the sentiments uh, from the holiday mix set and that finishes the cards. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out below to see who the next stop on the video hop is. And if you like what you see here, please subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day.
Bye.